Hi T Nation, Tom Morrison here and I want to give you two tests to test your core strength and they're not just sit-ups and planks, they are very important tests that you need to be able to pass to make sure that your core and your hips are on the same page for lifting. So the very first one is going to be the side plank leg lift. Now pay attention to how we set up for this, okay? You want to press into the floor, try and imagine you're dragging your elbow down towards your hips and create tension in your obliques first before you even start to lift yourself up. When you've got that, you should be shaking, okay? You want to be doing your planks in the way that you would lift weights. You don't just hold the position, you actually want to create tension. Then from there, what we want to see is can you maintain the tension and then can you lift up the top leg without your hips dropping at all? If Jenny was to put that leg down, if she was to try and lift that leg and her hips were to drop, that would be an immediate fail, okay? And we're getting Jenny to exaggerate to really show you what's going on, but this could look even more subtle than that, even more subtle than that, and that basically means that your hips and your core are not on the same page and that is enough to pull you out of position whenever you're deadlifting, whenever you're squatting, that could make you squat to one side, any little thing like that. And it's very important to test both sides. So if Jenny swaps herself around, you want to make sure that you can do this on both sides. So remember the tension in the core. This should feel challenging before you even lift up the leg and then we want to see that the hips do not drop. How to work on that if you find that you have that issue is to go from the knees. So make your body as straight and as long as possible. Still keep that tension. Even if it's too much for you to be in the knee, you could even still have the hip on the floor and really think about pulling down and engaging there and then progressively build yourself up to be able to hold this position. Then you can start to lift the top leg up and then you can start to do reps like that. So you could do 10 reps of just leg lifts. Kind of looks a bit like Pilates, but that's okay because they are good. So. This works on your abduction with your core strength as well. So very important test to be able to pass. So that's test number one, and that is for your obliques and your abductors to work together. Then we want to see about hip extension, okay? Your ability to keep the glutes firing while the core is engaged as well. So what Jenny's going to do is go into a glute bridge for me. And in that position, she's going to see, can she keep the hips up as she lifts a leg up? Boom, awesome and then the other side as well. So make sure you get yourself set before you lift the leg up. Boom, and then the same idea with this, if she was to lift the leg and the hips would have dropped down ever so slightly or twist to one side, then that could show a weakness in the glute or again, just awareness, just muscles not firing when they need to, okay? So whenever you brace, whenever you set up for a lift, you want everything to be boom, straight on. You don't want to be having to, um, you don't want these imbalances happening and that's what can happen over time. So if you're failing these two tests and you're having issues with your training, this is what you want to work on, okay? So what Jenny's doing now is just maintaining the glute bridge and doing small marches. If you find this is too hard for you, then you could just literally keep the feet on the floor and just start to take the weight off one leg or just lift the foot up ever so slightly and keep trying to keep the hips extended. So make sure you work on those two drills. Make sure that you use them in your warm-ups and make them incredibly easy for yourself and it will carry over to your training and will keep you from getting injured and keep you lifting for years to come.